do a fast update here. Alright, thanks for everybody that helped me. People that told me to fill up the reservoirs at the top. Thanks for people that told me to do that because that helped a lot. And I kind of did something myself too. Alright, I got all the foam out of here. I turned off the system and there was no foam clogged up anywhere. Everything was gone. Uh, there's just a little bit of bubbles, just a tiny bit, but they're all gone. Like, if, if I can focus it, the bubbles are coming out of the outtake. And they're just coming up here, and I have the reservoir opened up, so all the bubbles that get caught up here will disappear. All the tubing, you know, everything's good. What I did is, I took some of the some of the coolant out with this custom little thing I made here. It's like a needle. There we go. Took some of it, I took half of it out and I installed some U. And and yeah, I guess there was something in the water, but there's no problem anymore. What I did was I filled up filled up the water to the to the top, closed the top while it was running and then I turned it off you know that bubbles that were stuck in here would get pushed out through here because of the pressure and get stuck up here then I would open up the top and a whole bunch of pressure just comes up and all the bubbles would come out and then I would have to clean up all those bubbles, close the top or put more coolant in, close the top, run the machine again a lot of pressure gets pulled, all the bubbles come up, it's a lot of pressure here, you open it and more Foam comes out. That's the way I got it. Um, very helpful. So yeah, thanks for everybody that helped me. I'm glad now that all these, all the foam is out. All I got is these little bubbles, but that's gonna be no problem because they're gonna be gone by the end of the day. So thanks, guys.